It's pretty hard to see, but I'm holding thumbs up because but my tiny fingers don't let it. Well, anyways, today we're gonna say we're gonna teach you something about reusing your coals. You can actually re reuse your um um charcoal. Okay. Yep, we we do this every day, but don't uh, show it. We don't show it. Usually we put old charcoal in the bottom of the chimney and then we put new charcoal on the top of the chimney. But I don't know, all we're doing is a little kielbasa today. So we might not need that much charcoal. Another thing we can talk about is, there's a standard unit of measure in drilling, and that's the chimney. The Weber chimney is a little bigger than most chimneys. And when you're sharing a recipe or a technique, you'll kind of say, I start with about a half a chimney. And that's what we're trying to do today. So we're going to have to add a little bit more to that. That's the basic idea. Always thrifty. Always close down your vents when you're finishing up. Welcome back, Sappy. It's part two of this video. And we have kielbasa, as you can see. But we're just going to get on to putting on the grill. Kielbasa is a, is a German sausage, if you didn't know that. But we already put it on the... Um, it's pre-cooked. Yeah, it's pre-cooked. And we warmed it up on the stove just so that it kind of get evenly warm throughout. Now we're just gonna... Get some color on it. That's right, get some color on it as the kids say. Wait, what, what do you call that shape? Um, I don't know. Just a shape. Interlocking sausage? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> we invented the shape, guys. So, that is all for this video because it's not gonna be really worth no, there's not going to be really anything to show when we take it off because we're just warming it up. So, again, Stablin family, signing off for now.